Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the Daily Spy Report for Friday, April 8th, 2022. Let's take a look at the charts. I'm going to start with a little differently here. I mean, not a big difference, but I'm just going to show you the intraday containment levels first, and then I'm going to show you the primary resistance. Um, this is our intraday support, can contain intraday weakness if we break it. We drop to the next meaningful support, which isn't far below, and I'll get to that in a moment. And this is our intraday resistance. Yes, that rising speed line we closed below a few days ago, indicating bearish continuation into the 330s. That I'm still expecting that, but below a different level that is closer to the market. 456.87, if tested today, can certainly contain uh, intraday, quite possibly buying pressures through the rest of the day. But if we close above this area, a combination, just really for the day, a combination former horizontal channel top that held nicely for, you know, early part of last or late part of last week, early this and a new descending channel top that takes into account the last week and a half or so of activity. It all comes together at 452.26. So this is an area that I say can contain buying through next week and below which the upper 430s anticipated, I'm going to say, by the end of next week. Um, but if we do close above 452.26, then I see just the opposite. I think we've got a good move low, and the market should continue forging higher. That 468.02 former channel bottom then likely uh, within a full week of activity could take uh, the part, better part of two weeks, tough to call, obviously. And then over the next three to five weeks, we're back to expecting a test of that 479.98 high from last January. Let's take a look at the support and resistance for today. You can see the 452.26 uh, area that I just showed, able to contain buying through next week, and below which 433.80 to 36.58 remains a one to two week target. I'm going to say by the end of next week, that area rising gradually. I'll show you that in a moment. If we happen to push through 452.26, uh, we should test 456.87 intraday, or we could anyway. That would be a nice rally, but it can certainly happen on a Friday. So pushing or opening above 452.26, the 456.87 speed line in reach. This is well suited for aggressive day traders. Could we top out there well into next week? Certainly, anything is possible, but I don't like... Uh, suggesting continuing to play the short side of this market if we close above that 452.26 area. I just think that's a recipe for disaster <laughs> in that the market can continue on up. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's nothing considerably bearish right now about the market. I do, though, think that for the next week, we're heavy below 452.26. That's not a long time horizon. There's no clear long-term trend right now other than the, the long-term long -term trend is bullish above 415.59 to 418.38. If you've been watching the Daily Spy for more than a few weeks, you know that that is a long-term, uh, you know, zone of support. Uh, line studies, one-third speed line, and rising channel bottom projected off the March 2020 low. So that is really the only thing I think you can say right now about this market is the long-term trend is bullish. What is the near-term trend for the next two to three weeks? I'm going to say uh, susceptible to falling back into the upper 430s so long as we continue holding below the 452.26 area. Now, this is a pretty fluid process, pretty dynamic. So these numbers may change uh, into early next week. But if we test 452.26 and then we back off it in a meaningful way today, that's not such a tough task. And then, of course, closing above 452.26, I do think we've got a good April low. Uh, and at 468.02 level, then expected uh, within a week or two, and the 479.98 within three to five weeks. Let's take a look at the downside, holding below 452.26, as I say, the 444.90 level in reach where we can bottom out intraday. If we break 444.90, 442.42 is likely where we can place a daily low. And if we close below 442.42, that would be consistent with the one to two weeks heaviness below 452.26. And so it is sort of considered an eventuality right now now below 452.26, closing below the 442.42 level would then indicate the 433.80 to 436.58 area on Monday. I say in the text tomorrow, I forgot to change that, but it's basically on Monday if we close today below 442.42. Let's take a look at those levels. 
Of course, we got the 452.26 area able to contain buying through next week and below which 433.80 in reach over that time horizon. On the way down today, once again, 444.90, that former channel bottom. No, it didn't contain daily selling pressures on the way down, but I do think there's some good intraday play there. Uh, I think it can contain initial selling, but if we break it, then the 442.42 level, which is nothing more than the 3 8 downside Fibonacci I've been actually showing here for the last three or four days. You're probably familiar with this. This is the downside 3 8 from the February low against the recent March high. We've kind of come close to testing that area. In fact, yesterday, 443.53 was about a point away. So we've dropped to within about a point. But I think if we break that 444.90, a short-term channel bottom today, 442.42 in reach, we could actually place a daily low here. I wouldn't fall in love with this level, though. I think it's great for aggressive day traders. Or if you happen to get short at 452 and change that 452.26 level, if you happen to get short there and ride it into the afternoon and you get the opportunity to take profits at 442.42, have at it. If we close below 442.42, that would be consistent with the sort of near-term outlook, near-term being through next week, where I'm anticipating 438.80. Uh, so if we close below 442.42, I meant 433.80, not 438, sorry. 433.80 then, I think likely on Monday. If we close today below 442.42, 433.80 to 436.58, combination rising channel bottom and two-thirds speed line that take into account the lows uh, off the February lows um, would be in reach and this area can absorb selling through April. From here, we can recover nicely and on to new pullback highs from a week and a half ago within several weeks of that. And then uh, I actually, I think if once if I should say we test 433.80 to 436.58, we could then assume a 479.98 in reach within a couple of months of that. And I think that kind of rounds it out. I'm going to leave you with the support and resistance for today. And uh, I'll be back on Sunday afternoon with Monday's Daily Spy Report. You have a great day.